The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone. More and more smoke has built in. At this point, it's pretty widespread across a lot of the eastern half of the country. And that's extending all the way from Alberta, British Columbia, further down towards the southeast to see what the smoke levels are looking like, where the main smoke is concentrated with a lot of the fires. It's particularly thick. And then that's the same condition that we've got in all of these dark gray spots extending from parts of Illinois down into Virginia, including Roanoke and even further towards the east. It's looking like it just clips Richmond and just stays towards the southwest of DC. Now, as you get further towards the northeast, things are a little bit better. If you're flying through New York or Boston tomorrow, I doubt that you'll have to deal with quite as much of the thick smoke that we've got here. But further towards the west, even though the smoke is staying a little bit on the thinner side, there's not much to speak of in terms of rain or of uh, rainfall and storms right now. But that's going to develop a little bit more tomorrow. And we're looking at storms extending from Denver all the way towards Chicago. There's even a little bit towards the northeast of Denver right this minute. That is going to continue on. So be ready for there to be some slight delays, especially towards Denver and Chicago airports. Meanwhile, the ones further towards the east, I think are going to be OK. We don't really have storminess coming through until we get towards Friday, so we've got some time before that. I wish it was going to be nicer on Thursday, but if you are going to spend time outside, try to limit it and be aware of the smoke, but temperatures will be okay in the morning, and then as we get towards the afternoon, we warm up into the mid to upper 80s for a lot of us, with looking at showers further off towards the west. Thursday does stay pretty calm for most of us, but then Friday brings storms through, and I think that's going to be the stormiest day of those ahead with both wind and hail risk. Saturday has more isolation related storms so as opposed to Friday where they're a little bit more consistent they're going to be lighter on Saturday wind threat without the same level of hail threat and going towards Sunday I think that wind threat even comes down so it's more just showers at that point so it is a pretty good trend for us either way temperatures are going to warm up quite a bit Saturday we get well into the 90s in Roanoke Lynchburg and in Southside and on Sunday we're uh, just about the same temperatures will start to come down a little bit but it's one or two degrees each day all the way through the middle of next week. We're still going to be at or above average for quite some time. Now tonight temperatures are pretty comfortable, really similar to what we had this morning. Pulaski at 55, Covington at 58, Danville at 59. There's not a ton of moisture to go around, so the dew point doesn't make it feel super humid in the morning and in the afternoon it doesn't rise that much either. Blacksburg is at 84, Lexington 86, and Alta Vista at 87. But on Friday, that's when we're going to bring the storms through. Now we're still able to warm up. Rono gets up towards 90, but you're not going to be able to enjoy a lot of the day outside, even though that's when the smoke finally eases off. Saturday and Sunday both stay well into the 90s, and I think it takes until Tuesday for our temperatures to come back down a little bit, staying in the upper 80s through Wednesday. By then, we have partly cloudy skies, so each day after Friday is a little bit less intense. just takes a while for that to really dry out. And on the three-degree guarantee, add another $10 on, so we're at 580. I'm hoping Ooh. we can get to 600 before the month is out.